What's up guys? Today is Friday. Finally Friday. As y'all see right there. Snap on Friday. Today we got a special Mother's Day. Uh, snap on Mother's Day for you guys because it's Mother's Day weekend and you need to get your mother or something because it's Mother's Day. So let's take a look and see what Hamilton's got for us. Come on. that on silent because that's something gonna be blowing up today. Whoo! Man, that air conditioner is nice. Yeah. Nice, nice. Got a Harbor Freight jack back, I mean a snap-on jack back there. Nah, if one's good as the other, sometimes they say they all something. made in the same, the what, same if you, factory. They so say you can't things. put nothing that's lie on Facebook. Everybody on Facebook says that. They made in the same, same factory Same factory, stuff. same jack. <laughs> Just different stickers. That's all it is. And price tag. Yeah. I, people probably wouldn't worry about the sticker so much if it wasn't for the price tag, you know? <laughs> Harbor Freight needs to raise their prices, don't they? Yeah, they're losing a lot of money. <laughs> they got to get involved in the, the tax. They're on the wrong tax rate. They got to get that snap on tax That's rate. That's it, yeah. For sure. Well, um, I know we touched on it in the intro. You got a bunch of cool gifts for mothers for Mother's Day. Yeah, Snap-on uh, doesn't never disappoint too often, you know. And even with Mother's Day, we still want to disappoint. We always got tools that can get every job done. Yeah. Um, and the best part of the guys buy it for their wife or their mom for Mother's Day, and they don't like it, they can always use it for use their it own self. For their self. Yeah. So. That's like uh, we like we were talking about earlier. Blow dryer. Snap on got blow dryers. Yeah. You no. Know? I got one right here. If you want to do it for yourself, you got this one. Yeah. Like I said, or if you want somebody else to do it for you, you got the long one, which is always better. I mean, nobody wants to do their own blow drying. Use the big long one right here. Yeah. You know? Look how long that is. You can reach four foot, socially distance and still blow dry. Yeah. COVID safe blow dryers, <laughs> you know? And we got, uh, if your mom or if you, your mom or your child's mom and it was like mine. My mom always had the act right stick with her. Yeah. Most of, a lot of times people call them wooden spoons or spatulas. Right. I don't know how many wooden spoons that have been broke over my backside or back of the head or on whatever my mama came in contact with is what she hit repeatedly. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, a lot of folks call it child abuse now. My mama didn't know what child abuse was. She called them ass whoopings. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, we got act right sticks too. See, I've got act right yeah. sticks. Depending on the age of your kid, I mean, you don't want to use the big act right stick right. on little kids. Yeah. You want to use little act right stick. So y'all got do right sticks. Yeah. This was. I don't think I've ever been whooped with a hammer, but I've been whooped with. I probably would rather choose the hammer over some of the things I took whippings with as a kid. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. And uh, so y'all got y'all got blow dryers and do right sticks. Yeah. And that's like tweezers. what about for the mama that likes like the manicure, pedicure kind of thing? Y'all got something for them? Yeah, we do. We've got uh, a couple different things. We've got some side cutters, the fine ones, small ones, that we can get in tight spots, and the two different brands. These are a little bit easier for the mamas to open up. The Nip X, yeah, KN seventy four zero one one forties. These so are perfect do for doing nails. fingernails and all that yeah. kind of stuff. Uh, we got a couple different tweezers. Plucking their eyebrows. Yep. Yep. I'll never know when mama might need some tweezers. There's that's always a kid that's getting a, a, good a gift splinter or something, there. you know? I always got tweezers. And then if you got to lock onto your kid, you see a lot of these kids nowadays got the like a, a leash, like a yep. dog leash or something hooked to them. You got to have something to hook a leash to your kid. We got the, uh, I hid them in here somewhere so I didn't lose them. That we all been waiting on. Yeah, there they are. So you can clamp that on their ear. Yeah, on the ear or shirt or anything. Yeah. And then uh, that way you can grab hold of them. You just That's tie a, a little idea. string through there. Yeah. And the heavy as these are, if they're a little kid, they don't run too fast anyway. 
It's like snap on Mother's Day. We, like I told you, snap on them that don't ever disappoint yep. too often. Well, and if they need a paperweight, you got some big sockets there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can sell them that. Any of these. Of course, we've got our rare earth magnets also. Yeah. You know? Well, see, the you thing is, the, you know, if they ever have a competition on who's got the most expensive Mother's Day gift, Mother's they're going Day to win. Paperweight or, or most expensive paperweight. Yeah, there's no doubt that those would win. Yeah, I mean if they're using a metal filing cabinet and they ain't got no tape or the refrigerator, mm -hmm. they don't put their kids' picture on there. You can always use a magnet. There you go. That's how everything held on our refrigerator. Mm -hmm. So I tell my wife all the time, I, my the door hinges on the refrigerator don't wear out before the refrigerator does because all the magnets are stuck <laughs> to it. You know. <laughs> I got teenage kids, and my wife still has stuff, I think, from when they were kindergarten stuck to our refrigerator door. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's not just, like, one thing. She got, like, six things stacked on top of each other. Right. And you got makeup lights so they can do their makeup. Mm-hmm. Those are really good ones right there. That should yeah. be able to accentuate their eyebrows. While they're using their uh, blow dryer. Yep. So, I mean, they can... And if you really whatever. love your wife, you could get her the magnetic mount to go with our makeup light. Yep. Look at there. And that way you, she can use it wherever she's at. If the power goes out, mama's ready. She can stick it to the refrigerator door and she can still make sandwiches for everybody at lunchtime while the power's out. <laughs> Boy, there's going to be a lot of mamas <laughs> bad upset over this video, Hamilton. Yeah. Everybody that follows me on Facebook knows that I buy my wife the best gifts all the time. That's like on the anniversary, I bought her a new lawnmower, the Hustler X1, big bad lawnmower. Cool. And that's what I, mean, I put it on there, like, happy anniversary, here's your new mower, you know. And uh, a couple years ago, I bought her a new tractor for her birthday. She was surprised that I, she got a tractor. She pulled up in the driveway, she's like, whose is that? I'm like, well, it's yours, I bought it for you. Happy, happy yeah, birthday. Yes, yeah, happy birthday. She's like, I ain't never going to use that. That's like, well. I mean, sure you'll use it. Yeah. You drive on this driveway. Somebody's that's, got to grade it. That's what I told her. It's not my fault she don't drive on it. Yeah. I bought it for her. She could use it. Yeah. The lawnmower. Ungrateful. That's what that is. That's, I told her the same thing. Ungrateful. And uh, I got a new deer rifle a few years ago. She hates it. I use it then. I bought it for her. If you don't like it, I'm going to use it. I no can't let it go it. to waste. And... Uh, yeah. We uh, got a Jeep the other day. That's what I told her here pretty soon. I'm going to have to buy, me, buy a winch bumper, but it's going to be for her. So if we get stuck, we're not out she there. She don't have to walk and go get nobody, exactly. right, if y'all get stuck. So, right. I mean, I even get out and hook the winch up to something. That way we can get out. See, that's saving her trouble because, you know, if you're out in the middle of the woods, it may be five miles back to the road. Yeah. Well, that's a long walk to walk by yourself. Especially in the dark. Somebody got to stay with the Jeep. Yep. I mean, I can't trust her to watch the Jeep by herself. Somebody go in there and steal all the beer out of it. Yeah, then we're, that'd be divorced then. Yep. Yeah, That's I can. I, I can't trust her to protect all that. I'm the protector. She's the walker. <laughs> so we don't get the winch put on there. So if y'all run out of gas going down the road, she's walking. Who's got to push? I ain't need the problem. Neither one of us. She just walks. She just walk and go yeah. get a can. I gotta protect the vehicle, you know. That's a smart way to do it. Yeah. That's why I thought we got married. I mean, I'm, I'm the protector. I take care of her. And the vehicles and stuff, so I got to protect them too. <laughs> and my cooler. <laughs> oh, man. There's a lot of women right now shaking their head, I yeah. guarantee you. There's some guys that's watching this channel that's getting a cussing right now. If y'all ever need any marital advice, text me. I'll give it to you free of charge. And if you don't believe anything I tell you, I'll let you text my wife. She'll text you. <laughs> but I tell you, that's what it is. So. <laughs> Yeah, my wife don't. She don't always love the gifts she gets, but they come in beneficial for her. So. Right. They provide food for the family with a deer yep. rifle. And she's just ungrateful. Yeah, I keep bush hog, yards mowed. Yep. That's true. So you can always go on the snap on truck and find a, a good gift for, for your Mother's mom Day for Mother's Day or for your wife for Mother's Day. And everybody's happy that way. Yeah. So. I would, like I said, I'd probably watch some of the gifts I bought. Because some of them may come back to you a whole lot faster than what they went to her. I mean, depending on how your wife is. <laughs> she may send, return to sender real fast at Mach 3 speed or something. Hey. And, uh, but if you get hit, this is your own fault. You better learn to duck.
Yeah. I mean, you can get her a snap. Everybody loves a snap on ratchet. So yeah. that's always a big gift for Mother's yeah. Day. Here's my favorite ratchet. I know Clay's is a lock and flicks head of different brands, of course, but he'd get his heart right back again one day. <laughs> this is my favorite 3 8 ratchet though, right here. The FHNF 100. So that would make a good gift for you know your wife for Mother's Day, and then if she didn't like it, you could always use it yourself. You know? Yeah, like she could well, use that to stir cornbread or something like she that. She could do whatever she wanted to do with it right. this way, or she put extension on the end. Yeah, sure it that way. Yeah, but you could stir margaritas with that, or that's what mine would use it for. Yep, nothing or wrong here, with that. There'd be margarita spread stir. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you get a picture, your picture's going to come up at least right here. Yep. Keep your hands dry. Yeah. So Perfect. There'll be some woman at some Mexican restaurant Sunday night or Monday night, one or the other, going to pull this out of the purse and steer the margarita with it. Mexicans will <laughs> be like, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a quick story about some margaritas. My neighbor is a college softball coach. He was baseball, now he's a softball coach. But he goes to the Mexican restaurant with us all the time. And he was like, He'll drink beer, but he likes margaritas better. So that's fine with my wife, because she won't drink about one or two anyway, and then he'll drink the other one, and I drink my beer. But he always gets some little aircraft tequila bottles, the little small yeah. ones. He yeah. has two of them every time he pour them into margarita. Oh, and on top. Yeah, he said they always need a little extra octane in them. So. <laughs> oh, man, that's so, the way to do it. Yeah. We well, did almost get kicked out of one one time, because they sent him pouring it in there. Really? Yeah. I didn't figure they'd say nothing. I, well, I think we was a hunts for that one. Our that regular guys up here wouldn't say anything. No. Nah. And the ones that we usually go to, they don't say nothing. So now they kind of bring them a little heavy because they know what he's doing <laughs> anyway. So I just bring them a little heavy now. Yeah, we was a hunts for somewhere. And they, uh, he they poured them in there. They had a party over there, did they? Mm -mm. Yeah, they got a little upset over that. So speaking of party, May the 29th is the meetup. So here's what I need you to do. For everybody that's coming, make sure to let me know because we're going to order the food based on the numbers that we get. So if a hundred people tell me, hey, we're coming, we're going to have enough food for a hundred people. Yep. So if you don't tell me you're coming, don't get upset when you get here and there ain't no food. Hamilton will let you look at his plate while he eats and he can let you chew on a gumball. These are $32 a piece. And they have to be paid for in cash. If you do a credit card, <laughs> it's extra 3.25%. Yep. So you will have to work out a payment plan with Hamilton to at least have a gumball to eat at the meetup. So make sure you let me know how many people's coming. That way we can have enough food because we're going to have it catered in. We're cooking lunch here, but we're going to have the supper catered in. So let me know. That way you won't have to spend $32 on a snap-on gumball. Because I promise y'all. These is no regular gumballs. These things are as hard as a dang rock. They've been on here a while. And we, I mean, we still sell gumballs all the time. I need to go get some more, throw these away. But some people, they bite on them. They's like, hi, dang, I'm going to go to the dentist now. <laughs> I got little kids. It don't look, look it don't phase little kids. You yeah. know, they got jaws of a shark, I guess. They <laughs> pop them and take off. Crunch like yeah. Well, yeah, ain't no problem at all with a little kid. On a serious note, well, let me back up a minute before we get before we go forward. We gotta go backwards first. Have you found the dealer that's gonna ship us our, our ratchets yet? Yep. Good. Yep. All right. Now we can move to the cool thing, and let's uh, let's talk about the snap-on vice grips. Got them in. I finally ordered some of them, or ordered more of them. Uh, and because, like I told everybody else, the vice grips, the snap-on vice grips that we had before, I was not a fan of. Yeah, they was not good. No. Now, I think I've warranted my last pair of them out not long ago. Them look good, so, though. Yeah, they shiny. Uh, that's the LP10WC, and snap-on has the LP7WC also. Okay. Um, I'm sure the, they're going to be ex expanding the line pretty fast, hot and heavy, because... I think I talked to six or seven dealers about them, and nobody has yet had the warranty one out that I'm aware of. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, these are being made in the USA. They so, got it stamped right on here. So what's the cost of these $20 vice grips? 
They cost $78.95 right now. Of course, we got a little promo on them, so. Mm. And actually, I got two pair of them because I ordered one and I thought I got short shipped. So I had to hurry up and order another one and have it overnighted because I told Clay I'd have them on here this week. So we actually got two of them now. $78 for a pair of Snap-on blind screws. And these are a bit like the old school ones. Mm -hmm. Well, this one don't have the spot weld on it like the how we changed them to at one time. Yeah. And that was one of the problems what caused them to get loose in here. They just went back through the rivet like the originals did. Cool. All right. Well, I want to pair them. And if they suck, then we'll know. If they suck, it's going to be bad. I don't think they will, though, because nah. they, look, they look a lot better than the gray painted ones. Well, and they're twice as heavy as the gray ones. Mm -hmm. Well, you just picked them up. You felt how heavy yeah. they was. They're twice as heavy as the gray painted ones. Was. I think those gray painted ones was made by Grip On, and that was the problem with them. I don't know who done it, but they... Uh, they suck, but I'm proud that they they got these, and I think Malco's who's making these for Snap-on, and that's yep. in the old Vice Script factory. Yep. So that's awesome. It's good that Snap-on is having them made here for them. So yeah, you, there's a lot of things uh, going overseas. With everybody knows that now, uh, different laws and stuff that the government allows or changes, and uh, luckily, Snap-on is still in the old school way, trying to bring as much stuff or have as much stuff made in the USA um, for multiple reasons. I know a lot of people talk about costs, where it's so high, it's so high. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, three little letters right there, what makes it so high? Well, I hear a lot of people talking about, you know, Snap-on rebrands, blah, blah, blah. Every company rebrands. You can't make every tool. Like, it was different in, like, the... You know the 30s i yeah. got didn't have to have sixteen thousand different well, tools to do stuff yeah you know but here's 2021 this is what the brochure looks like nowadays back then when snap on made humps in there in the 30s this is what the brochure looked like yeah i mean there's a big like, difference you know in, there there's no way like honestly for you to buy all the tooling and equipment and all of that how much how many millions of dollars would it take you to build a set of ice cream you know i mean there, guys, yeah come on and then I hear them talking about, well, Baco makes those those adjustable wrenches that you brag about so much. Yeah, they do. They do. Baco does make those, but Snap On owns owns Baco. Baco. Yeah. <laughs> so you, is I, it rebranding at that point? You yeah. Know? I mean, if you own the company who's making it, I mean, yeah. because it got a different name on it, does it? And then some of these have, I think they put Baco on them now, with the Snap On name. Like at the end of the day. No company can make every single tool they sell. There's just no. too many tools required in this field now. Some of them I've seen, well, this one has snap on it here. They still have the snap on on one side, and then on the other side right here where this one does say snap on, some of them have bunk on right here. Yeah. Uh, and like I've said it a million times, and I'll say it again, it don't matter what brand of tool you buy, they're going to wire out, they're going to break, you're going to tear them up, and I, everything boils down to the guy that pulls up. What loose nut is sitting behind that wheel is what you need to focus on. And you I can get have the best. Time. You can have the best name. Like there's Snap-on dealers, and we've all heard stories oh, and yeah. comments that you know Snap-on's the best, right? But their dealer sucks. They want warranty crap. They don't want to fix nothing. So that makes the brand look bad. Yep. So you can't blame that guy from going to Matco or. Exactly. Mac or whatever, and there's bad dealers and everything. And every brand. So the and best you, thing to do is pick the best dealer that takes care of you and buy everything from that guy. That's, I tell people that all the time. They're like, "How you like being in the tool sales business?" I'm not in the tool sales business, and I, I tell people I'm not in. The, I'm not a tool salesman. I'm not here, and I all my guys are I don't. I'm not a pressure seller. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna come up here and say, "Clay, you need these." Well, why don't I need these? Well, you ain't got none of them. No, That's see, why you what you do is be like. Have you seen the new brushless blah, blah, blah? <laughs> just feel of it. Yeah. Just just put it in your hand. Yeah. Don't it feel good? Just rub it on you. <laughs> yeah. That's and Hamilton sales I'm not. A, I'm not a pressure seller. 
I'm the type. I'm gonna pull up every wheel and talk. We're gonna have fun. And if you need it, or if I can help, mm -hmm. like if you're like, well, I don't know if I need that or not. Well, let's see. Think about it. You know. Yeah. Like he's and, loaned me tools before. Yeah, and that's like, what I, I do that a lot to people. He's like, try this out, and and a lot of them I didn't buy. Yep. Like he's like, try this out. And let me know what you think about it. If you don't like well, it, I will take it back with me. And then the next week he come and get it. Now most of the time, if it's something good, like when he first brought that one inch snap on air impact in the shop, like he didn't. He just walks in with it and sits it down. So hey, I'm gonna leave this with you for you to try. I didn't say how much it is or none of that. Like, I think actually what I said was, there ain't no damn way I'm going to buy that because yep, that's too I, expensive. I, I'm pretty sure that's about it. And you said, you don't even know what the price is. I said, I don't matter. I ain't buying it. And what happened? You used it. I didn't I even, used... like, you know, you come back next week, I'm like, all right, just put that on me. Yep. <laughs> you know? yep. And, the, and that's like, even with like the one-inch impacts. No, they're not the strongest one out there, mm -hmm. but that's not what they're advertised. We don't but sell the baddest light, impact on the market. Strong. Yeah, that's what, like that's like with that. But that's how Balance, well, I go about it. I'm in the customer service business that happens yeah. to be selling tools. They do a good job at it. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and what I like, and I think all of our viewers will appreciate too, is just like the snap-on vice grips. There's not many tool dealers that's going to say, "Hey." You don't want to buy them. Those suck. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't recommend buying them. Like, that's a rare bird in this business, you yeah. know. And, and you, you know, I have to give you props, you know. I'm, You're I'm that gonna, guy that's like, hey, let me see you this one instead, you know. Yeah. This one's I'm going to call it how it is. And, this, and I still, uh, I mean, yeah, these are nice. I got two of them in. Clay said he's wanting one. I'm probably going to buy the other one. And I got two... 10, set, 10 pack sets at the house the Irwin set and the Milwaukee mm -hmm. set I use the Irwin set more than anything because it's right there in my toe box the yeah. Milwaukee one's over on my work table so usually I grab the Irwin set uh, but I'm probably going to put these in there and start using these well I think a lot of people respect that and that's what I've said before where I was like you know Joven could quit selling snap on tools and go independent or man you could stock this thing with Harbor Freight Truck tools the way you treat your customers that's what the people buy that buy from you you know because yeah. they know no matter what just like with my ratchet that time it broke i had that ratchet since high school yeah it broke he didn't have a kit he handed me a brand new one you know like that's the kind of service that and you know i hear a lot of people bitch oh you can buy it cheaper so-and-so yeah you can like you can buy yeah. everything on any tool truck a different brand from Amazon, pretty much on everything they got. But at the end of the day, what have you got? You know, like yeah. if it breaks, you're going to have to mail it in. And some people's fine with that. Yeah. I'm not that guy. Like, yeah. I've got shit in there that should have done been sent off a long time ago. But you know what I do? I come on here and, re how many times have I come on here um, and replaced tools that have a lifetime warranty that I've broken with tools that you sell? A bunch. Just because I don't want to fool with going to the post office and sending it off yeah you know? i mean i know you i've walked in a, few, a bunch of times and you be like hey you got this tool right here yeah and i'm like yeah all right well i'm gonna get that when you throw it in the garbage or you don't have it and i said well just order it yeah it may take two months to come in whatever right because i know when it breaks and he shows back up all i gotta do is hand it to him and he's gonna make it right and to yep. me that's worth every penny of that you yeah that's what i'm in the customer service business just happen to be selling tools <laughs> And Mother's Day presents. Yeah, and Mother's Day presents. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to get the new snap-on vice grips. And uh, that's going to be cool. We'll try them out and see how well they work. We may put them on a piece of metal and beat them with a hammer. There you go. Test them out to see. <laughs> All right, guys. Like always, thanks for watching. If you need any Mother's Day gift ideas or you got any new Mother's gift ideas, ideas that you want to add in the comments be sure to leave them down there because somebody may come up with a new way to please their wife or mom so we need to help out the community guys all right like always hit that thumbs up check over here merchandise cool tools and discount codes and if you're not subscribed it's really easy take your finger press that button you guys have a wonderful weekend and we will catch y'all later see ya